So thank you to everyone that joined in the live session um, so far. Appreciate all of you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I greet you according to your time. And today, truly, this live is to just give a shout out to Cora Obidi's um, LA mom and dad. Truly give them a shout out. The reason I want to give a shout out to them is because truly they have stepped in and they have been there for Cora through all of this process, through everything, right? They, they accepted her. They love her like, like she's one of their own kids. And that truly speaks volume. Um, you know, it's amazing. So many people out there wish that they would have somebody, whether their parents are no longer here or whether they live far away, whatever the case may be, that they could have people like that that would be there for them when they're going through. And even if they're not going through, just people that you can actually talk to, that you can trust, and that have your best interests at heart. And I want to say to the LA mom and dad, I want to say to them, you know, that we thank you. We, all of our, us Korean supporters, we thank you so very much. And for also stepping in and taking care of the kids. In the absence of the mom, Cora was leaving. Cora knew what she was doing. She left her kids in great hands. She didn't have to worry. You know, some people leave go on vacation and they're still worried about their kids like oh my god i hope they're going to be okay and so forth you could tell by cora's smile her face the peace that cora had on her you could tell that she wasn't even worried about her kids meaning being concerned like if it was a babysitter or a stranger she was at peace and why was she at peace right her kids has been there before many times Y'all saw that time when she was there with June. She took June all around the yard, show her the lemon tree and everything. So the kids are familiar with them. And I'm sure that those kids were so happy. Did you see those kids' Christmas pictures, Christmas photos? What does that tell you? They're taking care of those kids like if they were their own grandkids biologically, biologically. So that says a lot right there, you know, just to have people like that in your life, especially during this trying time that she had for all of them months. The support, right? We're online. She had you guys, her online family, supporters, all the Koreans. But it's not the same, right? Like having people that you feel like family. She could go there, talk to them, or even talk to them over the phone. So I'm so grateful to God that he has placed them, the LA mom and LA dad, in her life, in her path, because that's such a blessing. A lot of people out there wish that they had that. So when you hear all them people out there talking their little crap and everything, just don't listen to them. Just ignore them type of people because they're just hateful people, jealous, truly. Who wouldn't want to have people in their life if they are in a state or a country where they don't have their immediate family, their blood family, who wouldn't want to have that kind of support around them? Anybody would, right? I remember when I was in America and I didn't have no family at all in here in my life. None. No blood family. Until, you know, after my daughter was born and, you know, I, I got my sister to come up here and take care of her when I was going to work. But the whole thing is that Cora... You are blessed to have them in your life. Don't ever take it for granted. Don't ever take them for granted either. And I know that you wouldn't because the respect that you show when you are around them, the respect, the level of respect that you have for them, it says a lot right there. It says a lot. And if you guys see, all oh, watch Cora when she's there, just the joy that she has, the happiness, She's eating her mama's food. She's just so happy. So I know that she will never take that for granted because she knows that it's a blessing. So today, we are giving a shout-out to them. Donna, thank you for the 50 stars, darling. We're giving a big shout-out to L.A. Mom and L.A. Dad. Thank you so much for being that cornerstone. I call it a cornerstone right there for Coral Beauty. And I'm sure that she is very grateful, very thankful to you. 
and you did an awesome job with those kids. Oh my God, when I saw the Christmas pictures, the Christmas photos of those babies, I was like, oh my God, my heart was melting all over again. So beautiful. So we thank you, thank you, thank you so very much. And I know that God is going to continue to bless you, or bless you, you know, forevermore. God is going to continue to bless you just because of how you took a stand and you were there for her. And I'm sure that if it was somebody else as well that was going through and, you know, you met them out there along the way or somebody recommended them or introduced them, I'm sure that you would have stepped in as well because you can tell good people, right? Like I said, there's different types of people out there in this world. There's good people, there's bad people, there's evil, there's wicked. Everybody's different, okay? Everybody's different. So it takes people with a great heart, takes good people to really step up to the plate and really do what they're doing. So for anybody out there that's saying anything different again, just ignore them. Ignore them, okay? Ignore them. Especially this one that talk about pretend mom. Like, what, what the heck is a pretend mom, you know? This is a mom, not by blood, but a mom that God put in place. Because Cora's mom passed away, you know, when she was at a young age. But she has a, a mom now, not by blood, but again, a spiritual mom. Let's put it that way. So, again, this live video truly is for you, LA mom and LA dad. And we thank you, thank you, thank you so very much. You've been a blessing in her life. I know you have been, even though I've not spoken to you guys personally, I know that you have been just from everything that I see, you know, when she's with you guys and when she's at your home as well so that speaks volume if anyone wants to come up here and add anything else in there to that you definitely can or even if you want to say something else you can as well but truly this live video is ready to thank them so very much i'm going to read some of your comments as well guys but so hazel say hey mom and dad you are love much blessings thank you for supporting cora knew that um, the kids were left in great hands absolutely we all knew that we all well not all of us right people with common sense know that right Stephanie said bravo on LA mom mommy and dad and I'm reading it guys so that if they do listen to this at least they can hear what some of you had to say Jen also said come women like you rock the world when I was going through my heart break I wish I had ladies see like you to brighten my days oh that's and i understand totally right you know it's a gift it's a blessing when you find true people that are really there to support genuinely that really love people and care for people because there's a lot of people out there that are not really real let me use the word real right they do what you call pretend like they're supporting you but a lot of times they have a different agenda, right? But eventually their colors are shown. But you're correct about that, truly correct. And for me as well, I'll say the same thing that you said, Jennifer, as well. You know, when I became a single parent and I was going through, there was a lot of people that I couldn't even tell what I was going through to because you didn't know who was who, who was really genuine. Well, my sister for sure, my sister is a rock. I ain't even had to question her um ability her respect and my mom as well my mom was alive at that time and they were there i know that if i tell them anything it's not going further than that it's not going any further my mom was the kind of person that people could come and ask her oh so why did carol get divorced what happened my mom would say well i don't know you know they just got divorced meanwhile she knows but she know how to handle it and I think that's where I got that from as well. So rest in peace, mama. But you are absolutely correct, Jennifer. There's not a lot of people out there that you can share things with, um, especially really personal business things that you don't want it to go all around the neighborhood or to, to Tom, Dick, Harry, and everybody else. There's not a, a lot of people out there that you can put your faith and trust in. And that's really sad, you know? But... but um. So Vinica also said the photos of Cora princesses are uh, awesomely cute. Yes, they are, right? Thank you, LA mom and dad. 
I love you all so much. LA mom and dad, you rock, you rock, you rock. And I pray to God that one day I will be able to make it to California just for a visit so that I can get to meet them. You know, I like to meet good people. I love to meet good people, just like I would love to meet Mama Massa. Oh, my God, just to hug her and just, yeah, one day, you know, anything in this lifetime is possible. Colleen said, uh, we knew as well as Cora knew that her case is in good hands with the LA peers. Absolutely, without a doubt. I didn't even question it. Um, and Cora already knew that within her heart. That's why I said she can afford to go on a trip knowing that her kids are going to be fine. Even if Cora had to leave her kids with the LA parents for two weeks of her entire stay, she would have not been worried. She would have known that her kids would have been in great hands. They will be well taken care of, well fed, and everything that goes along with it. She would have, she know that without a doubt. And I know that as well, even though I've never met them, personally i mean look at look at the people look at them when they go out to dinner look at when cora's at their home those people are so respectful you could tell that they're god-fearing people as well i mean come on it's evident to you just from watching those videos when she's around there um bb said thank you simply sweet peach for acknowledging cora's LA mom um She's amazing to Cora and her babies. Those pictures are just too cute. Yes, they are. God bless her and her family. Good things will always be her portion for all the support. Um, she continues to give baby girl and the little angels. Amen. I love that, BB. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bimbo said the kids are better off with them than working over on social media, right? Because right now, guess what? They're being kids, right? They're being kids. They're relaxed. And I'm sure that June is probably out in that yard, probably running around, just being a kid, just being a toddler. And that's what it's all about. I'm not there. I can't see them, but I can just envision June out there asking questions about the lemon tree and different things. Because, you know, June is a really smart toddler. She's a really smart child. And, you know, I love the way how she... Sometimes she would question or she would say things, you know, because she's well. Barkley, stop it before I put you in the back. Oh my, Barkley, sorry guys. Um, Teresa said, thank you LA family for supporting Cora. God bless you. Stacy Ann, big up yourself. LA mom and dad, we love you. Oh, lots of love here today. Thank you guys so very much. Shape is say, LA mom and dad, you're a God saint. May, may the seas shown by you in Cora's life speaks to your children's children. You're an awesome role model and blessings. Merry Christmas, Ellie, Mom, and Dad. And that's from Shaper. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. But um, Gary said, Ellie, Mom, and Dad, to the universe, thank you. Selfless grannies, blessings. Amen, amen. Um, Sabrina said, a comfort. Level Cora left her kids in. I wish they had someone like LA mom and dad. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Sabrina, you just said it right there. I bet you guys in it. And I don't even have to bet nobody this year. The time that those two kids spent with a real original grandma for those two days, and the time that they're spending now with the LA grandma, I bet, I'm not going to say bet, I want to tell anybody. Now, that's going to be such more of a precious, precious moment. And we didn't get to see it, right? Because it's not something that will be displayed live because they don't live their lives like that. But I'm telling you that that bond that they have there for those three days together are going to be so much more precious to those kids than the grandma that came here for two days. That's all I got to say, okay? Based on what I saw, AJ said they will be eating their last good meal <laughs> until Cora gets back home. Right, JJ? You're absolutely correct about that. Monica said, we appreciate you, LA mom. Thank you. Um, thank you so much. Much respect as well. Chris said, God will bless that mom. Amen. God will bless the LA mom and dad. God will continue. I'm going to say continue. 
because they are already blessed, right? So we're going to say that God is going to continue to bless them. That is correct, Chris. She loves Cora a lot. She really does. And it shows, right? And she wants the best. You can tell that she has Cora's best interest at heart and her kids as well. Not just Cora, she has the kids' best interests as well at heart, you know, and that speaks volume. That goes a long way. Her mom, Cora's mom is, let me tell you, her mom is just smiling down and just so happy that her daughter is well-loved by so many people. I'm sure that she's smiling down and seeing that, you know, her father up above has placed the L.A. mom LA dad in Cora's path in the absence of her and the absence of her father being in Nigeria. You know, we don't know his situation as far as visa traveling. You know, sometimes it, it's, it's hard to get visas sometimes from Nigeria to come to America. We don't know what the situation is, but least to say is that there's FaceTime. She can look at her dad's face when she needs to talk to him. And it's such a blessing that they're there together. And, you know, I smile. I cried when Cora was telling her, Dad, Daddy, I'm okay. Daddy, I'm okay. You know, like he was so concerned about his daughter after everything that she's been through. Now she's here. I can hug her. Like, are you okay, baby? You know, after everything, everything. Cora is a very strong woman, very, very strong. And God is going to continue giving her that strength to get through everything that she encounters that's going to come up against her in her path. But the LA mom did, LA mom and dad, I'm going to give props to both of them because they're, they're married, they're together. What they have done for those kids there and went out to those kids to see Santa and do all of this, they did that from their heart. You know, because they, they know it's a Christmas time and, and they want those kids to have some Christmas pictures there. You know, that's such a blessing. Who do you know out there? If you have people out there in your life like that, that would do that for you, that would go that extra mile, take their time out and do that because they love you, they love your kids, and they're not doing it with no agenda, you're blessed. You are blessed. And don't ever take those people for granted if you do have anyone like that in your life. Because that's a blessing from God. God has blessed you to have those people in your life and in your path. So be very grateful. Be very thankful. And even if you're doing it on your own, pat yourself on the back sometimes. Pat yourself on the back and know that you're doing a great job. You're doing a great job for your kids. You know, because guess what? When your kids grow up, your kids are going to have those values. Everything that my mom did, all the struggles that my mom went through, but my mom still did this for us. Pat yourself on the back because that means that you're doing a great job and you're doing right by your kids. That's what it's all about. Everybody's not fortunate to have two parents in the home for their whole childhood, being a baby, um, going to, you know, that middle school age, high school. Every kid out there is not fortunate to have both parents in the home. So the ones that are fortunate to have that, it's a blessing. And you will be surprised that the kids, a lot of kids out there that do not have both parents in the home, a lot of times those kids turn out better. Some of them turn out even better than the ones that have both parents in the home, okay? Because it really, again, depends on the individuals. And it depends on the values that you instill in your kids and right from wrong, right? You got to let your kids know right from wrong. These people that are doing this to Cora, how, how, how are you expecting their kids to come up? What kind of uh, men and women you think that they're raising with their behavior? They're at that old age, old age in life, older than Cora will be, twice her age. And they're hating on this young woman hating on her, trolling her, criticizing everything she does. She can't even wear nothing without them saying something about it. Thank you all so very much for being here, for your support. We love you all. Love you, love you, like the love of God. And again, to the LA mom, LA dad, we love you as well. And thank you so much for being there for Cora, for supporting Cora, and just thanking God for your life as well. And God bless all of you. Enjoy.